Hey y'all, this battle means by Amari. Alright, so yes, this is going to be a rant video. So if you're not with it, roll out because I'm not even gonna edit it. I'm just gonna just straight go on and say what I gotta say about this. Dragon Ball Super Goku is the worst Goku that has ever been created. This man got sniped out of the sky, one shot it out the sky by a key attack to the point where he needed a Senzu before the fight even started. And what's the main excuse that people give it? Granola is the strongest in the universe. Now that's arguable because he couldn't get that strongest in the universe wish granted. He had to get his own potential brought out which decreased his life, which is supposed to have made him the strongest in the universe. And like I said, that's arguable. If that made him the strongest in the universe, then fine. But how many times has Goku gone up against the strongest in the universe? In Dragon Ball, in Dragon Ball Z, in Dragon Ball GT, in the movies. How many times has Goku gone up against the strongest in the universe, bruh? Countless times. And he's never looked as clownish as he does in Dragon Ball Super. Every single arc is like the last arc never happened. Now this dude is being trained by angels and gods. Angels and gods. And I'm going to be honest. I was more, I'm more impressed with the Goku that got trained by normal dudes. The Goku that got trained by Master Roshi, the Goku that got trained by uh, uh, Kaiusama, you know, uh, the Goku that trained himself, the Goku that trained Gohan, uh, you know, th these were more impressive Gokus to me because this Goku, th those Gokus actually showed improvement. This Goku seems to keep falling for the same thing. Didn't he get sniped in uh, the Frieza arc? In the, Ro the Revival of F arc? Didn't he get sniped in that arc too? So they keep wanting, so they want Goku to basically keep getting sniped. I mean, <laughs> this dude got sniped out the sky like somebody was out hunting for birds and wanted to sell, sell the body parts on the black market, bruh. And this is Goku. How... When are we going to get to the point where we're like, yeah, this Goku is learning. This Goku is improving. This Goku is a beast. He has quote unquote God key now. Where's the improvement? What was the point? Now he has God key and he can use UI on top of God key. On top of his uh, Super Saiyan God forms. For what? He still gets poked in the stomach in a, in a vital organ. Okay, so kill Go to, to beat Goku, just hit him in a vital organ and he's done. That's it. Come on, man. That Even that excuse, I, I get it's a vital organ, but, you know, tense yourself up. Pre prep yourself. The same thing happened with Hit. Hit got him in a vital organ. So this Goku basically just leaves himself open constantly to attacks, even though Wiz told him not to do that no more. Stop holding back. Stop leaving yourself open. Where's the improvement? I mean, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing, bro. Now, I'm not saying Goku can't lose. Losing is part of the game. Lose. It's fine. You don't have to win everything. But it's the way that he's losing. And it's not Goku's fault. It's the writers. They didn't want Vegeta to get sniped out the sky. They wanted Goku to get sniped out the sky. Like he was a rare bird. And people was poaching. Out poaching. They wanted that to happen to Goku. Not Vegeta. I mean if I was Vegeta. I wouldn't even want to surpass Goku at this point. Is that even an achievement? To surpass Dragon Ball Super Goku? <laughs> I mean, dude, ah, oh, man, I just don't, I don't, I cannot, and I'm, people say, why are you reading Dragon Ball Super? If you don't like it, don't read it. I read it out of love for the franchise, out of love for the characters, 
I love Dragon Ball. I grew up on Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball will always have a special place in my heart, so I'm always going to look at the material at least once. So yes, I'm going to keep up with them. I'm going to keep up on how Goku improves on his new forms, etc., etc. That's what I'm going to do. But damn, where do we draw the line to say, okay, it's getting ridiculous. This shouldn't be happening this way. Why, why is this happening? Why are the writing why are the writers clowning Goku like this? I mean, it's getting pathetic. I mean, it's been pathetic for a long time, but now it's getting really bad. When he got outsmarted by Majin Buu, I was like, what the hell? You know, Majin Buu outsmarts Goku? This is the same Goku that went through Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. The Goku that fought King Piccolo in Ball. I'm way more impressed with him than this current Goku. GT Goku, you see the improvements. You see that he's a master in his art. This Dragon Ball Super Goku still giving Senzu beans to the bad guy. Where, where do we, even if you're a fan of Dragon Ball Super, when are y'all gonna wake up and say, okay, this is getting ridiculous now. We, you know, it's getting real ridiculous. I can't keep making up excuses for Goku and Dragon Ball Super. I mean, where do y'all draw the lines? When are y'all gonna stop being fanboys and saying that, yeah, this is ridiculous. I don't care if Granola's the strongest in the universe, bro. I don't care. They could have written any type of way to make him look, to make Granola look like a beast without having to sacrifice Goku's character once again. He got sniped. <laughs> I mean, dude, come on, man. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, bro. I mean, it's pathetic. This is Goku. When are we going to start to see the Goku that we remember? When are we going to start to say this is really the main character of this show? Even Ichigo got better as Bleach went on. And Ichigo was terrible. Where is the development? Where is the development? He's getting trained by gods and angels, bruh. What is the point? He's losing to normal dudes. I don't know, man. Like, like I said, this is my rant. You know, y'all, I, I want to know what y'all think. Am I over exaggerating? Am I overreacting? Because this is just getting from bad to worse to even worse and i ain't think it could get no worse than dragon ball super but when they sniped him out the sky and poked him in the stomach knocking him out of his god form he got poked in the stomach and got knocked out of his god form meanwhile super saiyan 4 goku can get knocked unconscious and still be a super saiyan 4 he held super saiyan 4 for the whole fight against baby get come on man like, this is ridiculous. Y'all think this Goku stands a chance against Superman? Let alone GT Goku. Superman would abolish him in his vital point. <laughs> That's where durability comes in. You gotta be durable. He has God Key activated. So God Key doesn't do anything for his durability? It doesn't make sense. It makes no sense. Help me out here, y'all. Because all I hear is excuses, excuses. I want some facts. I want y'all to really be real about this. I don't care that Granola's the strongest. Goku is always going up against the strongest. That's the character of Goku. But he never looked this bad. Never. He's never gone this long without showing some kind of improvement. How many episodes of Dragon Ball Super are there? Where's the improvement? He got sniped twice now. He got vital pointed twice now. No, three times if you want to include both the times that happened in this last manga. And that's including hit. Hit vital point, pointed him. So he's just going to leave himself open every time now. It's the same thing over and over and over again. I mean, dang. Dang, man. Come on. Like the writers, they just want to keep milking this series at the expense of Goku. Anyway, that's my rant. 
Let me know what y'all think about that in the comments section, man. And I'll see y'all down there. I'm going to see y'all on the next video. Let me know what y'all think, man, because I, I can't do I, I I don't know what else to say. All right, I'll see y'all on the next video.